Hi everyone, this is Dr. Peter Kahn. Welcome to the Ask Dr. Kahn Show. So every Monday at 12.30, we'll bring you content and information that's going to help you solve your health puzzle. In case you're not familiar with me, my practice in Gilbert, Arizona, help people with chronic health conditions like thyroid problems, Hashimoto's, autoimmune disease, chronic digestive issues like you know, food sensitivity issues, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, people with tough to treat chronic conditions that basically they've been everywhere, been to Mayo Clinic, been to all the natural alternative doctors, nothing's helping prior to coming to here. Now on our website at AskDrKhan.com, we have over a hundred video testimonials. These are life-changing video testimonials of patients who's been everywhere, done everything, tried everything else, and they come to us and we use our unique approach to help them get better. So not telling you that to brag, just telling you that there's hope. No matter how long you've suffered with chronic fatigue, energy issues, uh, you know, a lack of interest in activity, lethargy, depression, anxiety, digestive issues, joint pain, chronic inflammation, autoimmune disease, there's hope for you because we have helped so many people and we know that food is medicine. You can use food to heal your body, but we also need to identify the root cause. And for some people, there may be chronic infections, toxicities, and different issues that we need to use advanced functional medicine lab testing, and that's what we do. And uh, so I want to welcome you to, uh, to look up uh, our Facebook page. You can see previous episode at the Ask Dr. Khan Show. This is episode 60. So we've been doing this 60 weeks straight. Every week we give you information that's going to help you. And then the reason I take time out, out of my busy practice to do this is because there's so many people that need to hear this message of hope, this message of healing. Because in the current medical model, there's really a lack of hope. The Western medicine model is basically it's built on maintaining disease, right? Once you're sick with something, they diagnose you with something, they have a drug or surgery, or they have medicine that's going to help you to manage your disease. What does that mean to manage it? That means to keep it in existence for the rest of your life. So you need to take this drug for the rest of your life to maintain that disease, right? Once you start taking thyroid hormone, when do you get off, get off the hormone? Never. They just, you got to take it for the rest of your life. Makes zero sense at all. How is that healing? That's not healing. Healing means you get better and you no longer need a drug anymore. Hi, Marianne. Good to see you. So today's topic is we're going to talk about five critical supplements, five must-have that you need to have supplement-wise to help with the autoimmune. Now, always we want to do things the right way, right? Unlocking your autoimmune disease or chronic health problems, kind of like unlocking a combination lock or entering a PIN number, right? If your PIN number is, you know, one, two, three, four, and you enter the pin as one, three, four, two, it's not gonna unlock it. Same thing, your body has a priority system. So when we're talking about supplements, I wanna put it in the right frame because when it comes to autoimmune, you need to identify the priorities. There are certain priorities of the body, okay? So one of the priority is leaky gut. If you have autoimmune disease, you must identify if there's a presence of intestinal permeability or leaky gut through advanced lab testing, and you gotta actually fix the leaky gut. And fixing leaky gut is not just about taking the supplement, it's also about eliminating the offending agent. Be that a food that you're sensitive to or an infection that you have that's causing leaky gut or toxicity. You gotta address leaky gut. Another priority of the body when you have autoimmune issues, including thyroid problems, is blood sugar problems. You gotta stabilize your blood sugar. If you have hypoglycemia or if you have insulin resistance, which is high blood sugar, both, you gotta stabilize that blood sugar so that your immune system can actually heal itself. You also gotta make sure you have proper oxygenation. Hi, Diane, good to see you again. So, you gotta make sure your circulation and your oxygen delivery mechanism is working. What that means is, you can't be anemic. If you're anemic, that means you have low oxygen, low hemoglobin and red blood cell. You're not gonna deliver fuel to your body, you can't heal. You also gotta make sure you have good circulation. If you have poor circulation, then you can't deliver that blood and that oxygen to your tissue, that also is not gonna work. How do you know if you have circulation problem? If you have cold hands and feet. That's a sign of poor circulation. If you feel cold all the time, that's a sign of poor circulation. If you have hair loss or the tip of your nose is cold all the time, that's a sign of poor circulation. Or you uh, have orthostatic hypotension, which is a sign of circulation problem, meaning you get up too fast Every time you get up too fast, you get up from sitting to standing, you feel a little dizzy, lightheaded. 
that's called orthostatic hypotension. That also is a sign of poor blood sugar delivery, poor blood flow to your brain, which can lead to fatigue, brain fog, inability to concentrate, and so forth. So we got to address these priorities. There are many more other priorities like that, but those are the top three that I look for, and I seek to st identify and then stabilize before I even work on the other things. So you have a lot of people in the natural alternative field or in the medical field, and when people show up with a thyroid problem, the first thing they do is, oh, you have a thyroid problem. Here's a hormone replacement, right? Here's levothyroxine. Here's Synthroid. Or you go to the natural side, it's like, hey, here's Armor. Here's Naturethroid. It's natural. It's bioidentical, so it's better than synthetic. Not necessarily so. These are all hormones. All these thyroid medications know that they're all hormones. So if you have a thyroid problem, you're given a thyroid hormone. That's the treatment. But what if you have anemia? You have poor circulation. You have blood sugar instability, and you have leaky gut doesn't matter how much armor you take, it's not going to necessarily correct those problems. So it doesn't mean that you don't take the hormone. You might need the hormone at least temporarily to get the function back up so you don't feel horrible. But if you don't address the underlying root cause like circulation, leaky gut, food sensitivity, blood sugar issues, then taking the hormone is not going to complete the puzzle. This is where medicine is really missing the boat. They're, they're missing the boat that Food is medicine. God put food on this planet so that we can use food to heal our body. Everything we need is already here. It's in our environment. Everything we don't need is also in our environment, like to environmental toxins. So we got to really manipulate the environment to get our health in order, right? And so these are things that you have a, you have a part in. You, you can change. You can make a decision today to put something different into your body that will change the course of your health. And let me ask you this, how much is your health worth to you? I mean, if your health is not worth you investing time and money into, then what are you investing in, right? People buy fancy clothes, buy material things. At the end of the day, if you don't have your health, you have nothing because you experience your life through your health. You say, well, I have good health care. Well, health care, that insurance, right, covers that drugs and surgery, remember, current Healthcare is really not healthcare, it's sick care, right? Insurance covers drugs and surgery. Insurance doesn't cover you eating organic food. Insurance doesn't cover you learning about how to take care of your body. Insurance doesn't cover you exercising. It's all up to you. See, health at the end of the day is up to you. So anytime people ask me, do you take insurance? My answer is, what is insurance doing for you? What has it done for you lately? Nothing. Your deductible is 10 grand. Like, okay, you got to pay out of pocket 10 grand anyway. Why not? Why might as well just use that and take care of your health? So that, the insurance question is a non-question. Don't even ask that question because if you ask that question, you're on the wrong track. You're asking a medical system that's using drugs and surgery to heal you. Drugs and surgery can't heal you. They're treating symptoms, which is okay if you need that. And some people need it, but that doesn't treating the symptom is not the same thing as healing your body. You must heal your body and you must heal it through manipulation of your environment and your intake, which is food, exposure to toxins, okay? That's where supplement is also a, a part of that equation. You can manipulate your body chemistry by taking specific nutrients to change how your body function. That's where the supplement comes in, okay? So supplement does not replace healthy eating. Supplement is an adjunct. It can certainly speed up the process in some people. It can actually do quite a bit if you use it correctly. And that's why I'm giving you this information. This is the same stuff that we use in our, in our office to help clients who have chronic health condition turn their health around in a quick and efficient manner, okay? So to, let's talk about the five must-have supplements for autoimmune. If you have autoimmune disease, such as Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, if you have lupus, if you have celiac disease, if you have things like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, which are inflammatory bowel disease of the, your intestinal lining, if you have myasthenia gravis, if you have MS, multiple sclerosis, you have Sjogren's, you have psoriasis, right? Any type of autoimmune skin issue. You have dermatomyositis or you have fibromyalgia. All these autoimmune disease basically is the same disease, just different manifestation of the same disease. Meaning it's all immune system attacking your body, just attacking a different tissue and it will give her a different name. So rheumatoid arthritis is not the different disease than MS. Medicine treat rheumatoid arthritis and MS as a different disease. But really it's not the same different disease, it's the same disease. They say, well one's a joint problem, one's a neurological problem. No, 
They're both an autoimmune disease, which means your immune system is attacking your brain versus the joint. But it's the same thing. So you must address the underlying root cause, which is the immune system attacking the body. So when it comes to that, there are five critical things that you must have in place in order to help your immune system heal itself and regulate itself. So five supplements for autoimmune, okay? Number one you must have is vitamin D. And specifically we're talking about vitamin D3, okay? The vitamin D3 is critical for the T regulatory cells to modulate themselves. So I've talked about this before, but I'll show it to you again. Your immune system has two branches, Th1 and Th2. This is T helper cell 1, T helper cell 2. These are specific parts of your immune system, different cells in your immune system. T helper 1 cells are your killer cells. They go and kill the bad guy. T helper 2 cells make antibodies. And what happens is you also have a specific type of white blood cell called the T regulatory cells. These T regulatory cells are also T, called T helper 3. These numbers are just conventions that scientists give when they discover these immune cells. So T helper 3 are the regulatory cells. Now it's important to know that when you have autoimmune disease, your immune system are either stuck in T helper 1 dominance, meaning the killer cells are too active, killing your own body and can't stop, or you're stuck in Th2 dominance autoimmune, where the your body producing too much antibody and it can't stop. So we have autoimmune disease of any type. You're either stuck in one or the other. And what regulates that is called a T regulatory cell, as the name implies. So vitamin D turns out to be crucial for T regulatory cell function. You must have sufficient amount of vitamin D to help this immune system regulate itself so it doesn't lose tolerance for your own tissue and start attacking your own body. Okay? So vitamin D3, now how much is enough? You must have regular blood tests for this because vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. It stores in the body. Now, vitamin D itself have no toxicity per se. The, the bad effect of vitamin D when you have too much is that high vitamin D level will raise serum calcium level. So when your calcium level in the blood goes up to a certain degree, it creates uh, conditions called hypercalcemia, uh, and this causes like, you know, uh, stomach issues. You feel sick to your stomach, and you just don't feel good. But it's a temporary response. As soon as you stop the vitamin D, as vitamin D level drops down, the serum calcium level goes down, the symptom goes away, there's no buildup really. And the level at which that happens, it, it's several hundred. So the vitamin D range on the blood test typically is 35 to 100 is the range on lab tests. The optimal vitamin D, if you have autoimmune, it needs to be higher than, than the average number. So typically we like to push our clients vitamin D level to 80 to 100 to be optimal for autoimmune okay if you have an autoimmune condition and really for most people 80 to 100 is really where you want to be and um, the level at which it'll cause problems or symptoms of too much vitamin D usually it's about 3 to 400 so even if you got up to like 150 you don't have to freak out it's fine you know what I mean I don't have any patient that have symptoms of that if you have way too much beyond that, then you want to just slow down, okay? So that's why regular testing is really important. So vitamin D is crucial for autoimmune. The number two supplement that's really important for autoimmune is glutathione. Now glutathione is an intracellular antioxidant. So what that means is every single cell in your body produces this. Now you may be saying like in glutathione, never heard of it. Well, you heard of vitamin C, right? Well, vitamin C is an antioxidant. It's just that vitamin C is an antioxidant that you have to get from food, right? All vitamins are something that you know, your body cannot produce on its own. You have to take it from food. So vitamin C is one of those things that you gotta get from food or you become deficient in vitamin C, then you can get scurvy, you get connective tissue disease. So glutathione, it, like vitamin C, it's an antioxidant, except it's so critical for your cell's function, your body actually makes it on its own. Now what happens is when you have autoimmune disease, your body run out of vitamin, uh, run out, of, run out of glutathione because glutathione is also critical for this T regulatory cell function. So it helps your immune system help modulate your immune system so it's not attacking your body as much or it has better immune tolerance. So you need glutathione to be sufficient. Glutathione again is something that your body can produce, 
and usually you will eat things that are sulfur containing foods and cysteine containing foods so this will be like garlic things that are high in sulfur like your uh, cruciferous family like brussels sprouts broccoli cauliflower those type of food will have high sulfur content and those food will help you uh, cysteine and sulfur is your body you know making glutathione you also need b12 and folate uh, as part of that methylation process to kind of as cofactor to help you make glutathione so you basically get it from food however like i said when you have autoimmune disease your immune system use up a lot of glutathione so then when you run out you become deficient the next time your cells are hit with some type of inflammation then you have you don't have enough glutathione to protect your cells then your body becomes inflamed and damaged and also you lose regulation of your immune system you become more autoimmune so you got to have glutathione and you can get it several different ways as, our, as far as supplements so in the past you can take glutathione in a reduced glutathione form in a, in a powder in a capsule and what happens is glutathione have to, it's oral absorption of glutathione is very poor so then they came out with different ways of absorbing the glutathione they came out with liposomal cream which we used to use a lot so you put the cream on your skin that contains glutathione it absorbs through the, through the skin bypassing the GI tract so you get it kind of like an IV you can also get glutathione in the IV which again is getting it directly into your blood which is effective you can also get it and then they came up with a different form uh, called a liposomal form so the liposomal is a liquid form that's emulsified so the glutathione is in a fat uh, sphere so that helps you absorb it better and then we also have acetoglutathione the aceto form S-acetoglutathione and this is a form of glutathione that's also been shown to be highly absorbable and now they can put it in a pill form where before the reduced glutathione does not absorb very well so there's different ways that we, we use the liposomal glutathione and we also, also use, use the S-acetoglutathione in a capsule form. Those are the preferred way of doing it. Another way you can go about improving glutathione production is use this product called Hepato GSH. So what this is, it's actually an herbal compound that we have that actually helps stimulate your body's own glutathione recycling, glutathione production. Okay, So your body actually takes, when your body has glutathione that's used up or spent, the body actually take the broken up glutathione and recycle it and re reproduce them. Okay, so this particular product actually helps this reprocessing the recycling of glutathione. So this actually makes your system more fit, so that 24/7 you're making glutathione. So there's different applications for different things. In some people, in an acute phase when you have a lot of inflammation, very autoimmune, we may start with the actual glutathione to boost glutathione level, and then as people go into the wellness or you know, a recovery phase, we may use hepato GSA so your body can actually start producing your own. So that's more long term, okay? So vitamin D, glutathione. Number three, that's really important for uh, autoimmune condition is essential fatty acids. So this would be things like EPA and DHA. So these are compounds found in your fish oil. And fish oil is really important as well as far as regulating the helping support T regulatory cell but also really important in inflammatory response. And uh, as you know, these are your omega-3s and the typical, the standard American diet and the standard, you know, typical American have a lot of omega-6 fatty acids, which are pro-inflammatory and not enough of the omega-3, which are anti-inflammatory. So by supplementing with EPA, DHA, you're gonna create that omega-3 and omega-6 ratio in a proper ratio which will help with inflammation, but also help promote T regulatory cell function. So these are the uh, very important supplements for autoimmune. Number four, uh, that's really important, is support leaky gut. Okay, leaky gut. Because we know when people have autoimmune disease, most of the time they'll have intestinal problems. Their gut linings becomes damaged. In fact, leaky gut leads to autoimmune disease. Research show that it's very difficult for somebody to have autoimmune disease of any type without having leaky gut first. Because when you have leaky gut, your immune system becomes hypersensitive and that drives this autoimmune response. So healing the gut is really important. So how do we go about doing that? Well, usually there's a multiple, multitude of compounds that we use, but the product that contains all these scientifically researched ingredients that help support leaky gut, we use, it's called GI resuscitate. Resuscitate, just like 
cardiopulmonary resuscitation, like CPR. This is gastrointestinal resuscitation. It's like CPR for your gut, for your intestinal lining. So help heal the gut, help reduce inflammation in the gut. It also uses mucilaginous compounds like uh, okra extract and marshmallow root extract to coat the gut as well. So it's one of the main things, main tools that we have to help our clients to help support leaky gut. So you must heal the gut, okay? So we have vitamin D, glutathione, we have essential fats, we have leaky gut support, and number five, to support autoimmune, will be to support the nitric oxide system. Okay, so what's that? Well, nitric oxide is a gas that's produced in your body, and uh, it's naturally occurring. Your body naturally produces it. However, there's three different subtypes of nitric oxide. There's a endothelial, or the E form of nitric oxide synthase, which is an enzyme that produces this specific type of subtype of nitric oxide. This is the type of nitric oxide that's good for your blood vessels and circulation. Okay, so when you exercise, one of the main benefits of exercise is that that turbulence of blood flow through your blood vessels actually causes your, the lining of your blood vessel to produce its endothelial nitric oxide, which is beneficial for blood vessel dilation, which that's why when you exercise, you get more blood flow deliverer, better circulation because of that. Also, you have a neuronal, N for neuronal nitric oxide synthase. Neuronal supports brain function. It helps with synaptogenesis, help your brain cells create more synapses to connect with other brain cells, which help with brain function. That's also good. And you have another subtype called the inducible nitric oxide synthase. The inducible meaning it's induced or caused by inflammatory cytokines. Inflammatory cytokines are those immune cells that trigger inflammation. So these two are good, while this one is bad. So we want to promote the good nitric oxide that promotes circulation and brain function and reduce the bad one because this in inducible nitric oxide is what's causing the inflammation in people with autoimmune disease. Okay? When you have infections, this inducible nitric oxide is also expressed because when you have infection, your body will try to push this bad one but the bad is not necessarily bad because the bad basically, this is like a bomb. It's like a grenade. Your body, your immune system is lobbing at the infection. And when you lob a grenade, guess what happens? It blows up. The explosion kills the infection, but it may also create collateral damage that damage your own tissue. So this is where it causes inflammation, tissue damage, organ destruction, all the bad stuff associated with the autoimmune inflammation part of the autoimmune is caused by this bad one. So we want to reduce that. So one of the things that we use to support that is called nitric balance. Just so you know, all these products that I uh, described to you, you can find it at our website. Let me use, uh, give you a resource that will help you, okay? So you can find it at Neural Metabolic Supplements. Dot com, okay? So if you go there, you'll be able to find the D3 in an emulsified liquid form. I can't tell you how many times people come in already taking 10,000 IU of vitamin D. They've been taking it for a year or two years, and the vitamin D is still deficient. So how can that be? Well, have you ever considered maybe the vitamin D that you're taking doesn't work? <laughs> many people are taking a very inferior form of vitamin D that simply do not, does not absorb. So we use a very... Uh, high quality pharmaceutical grade emulsified vitamin D that's highly absorbable. Typically, when I have our clients take 10,000 IU per day, in three months, the vitamin D level will jump by about 30 to 40 points. And that's what we want to see. That's a good response. But when you're taking 10,000 IU, 5,000 IU, and taking it for several months or a year, and your vitamin D barely you know, move up, then you're like, why is it like that? Because the product you take sucks. <laughs> Take a good product, you should get good results. How do you know? You can test vitamin D level. Again, that's what we help our clients with. So you can find a D3 Pro 2000. That's the one you want. 
is 2,000 IU in a drop, a single droplet of vitamin D. You take five drops, you got 10,000. And in three months, it's going to go up by 30 points. Okay? So that's what you need, okay? Vitamin D. The glutathione, like I said, there's an acetoglutathione pro. So there's a product called the acetoglutathione pro. That's the, the very highly absorbable form of glutathione. You can also find that at our neurometabolicsupplements.com. You can also find hepato-GSH. This is the herbal compound, herbal formula, that support your body's own endogenous recycling of glutathione. It also support liver function as well, so it kind of kills two birds with one stone. It's a great product. You can also find the essential fatty acids. What we have is called an Omega Pure Pro. Okay, now this is a fish oil in a true triglyceride form. So what that means is actually in the actual you know, fish oil form. Many of the fish oil products on the market has been processed so that it, do, it doesn't resemble fish oil anymore, okay? It may still have some EPA, DHA, but it's not in a very absorbable form. So you want it in a true triglyceride form, and our Omega Pure Pro is in a true triglyceride form, high quality. One tip about fish oil, if it smells fishy, it's already gone rancid. Many of the fish oil supplement on the market it's already rancid, even a reputable brand, reputable brand. So you want to open it. If you smell it, don't take it. Just return it. Okay. So the one that we have is a very high quality. The GI resuscitate is a product we use for leaky gut. And then nitric balance is what you use to support this nitric oxide system to promote the good nitric oxide to help with circulation. So you don't get cold anymore. You can get blood flow to your brain to improve synaptogenesis, so help with brain fog and mental clarity, and then reduce the fat nitric oxide, which will help with inflammation, decrease pain, and also modulate autoimmune. Okay, so there you have it. Five must-have supplements for autoimmune. D3 Pro, glutathione, either hepato-GSH or acetoglutathione Pro. We also have a liquid form, it's called liposomal glutathione. You'll see it on our, uh, if you go there and check it out, you'll see all these products. I also have a video explanation of some of these products that I explain to you why it's beneficial, okay? Uh, all right, we have uh, Romelia. Thank you for joining us. Nikki, what's up? We have Hadan, Hadadan. All right, good to see you. And we have Lindsay, as always. Thanks for joining us. And uh, so these are the five things you want to look for. Go to neurometabolicsupplements.com to look for these products. We also have Thyroid Solution Workshop. So this is an in-office workshop that we have this Tuesday on thyroid. It's at 5.30. If you haven't been to that, you want to come to that. Now, seats are limited. We're already getting really filled up. If you already registered for it, good for you. Make sure you come to it because we're holding that seat for you. If you haven't registered, call the office at 480-988-6269 and find out if we have any more seats left for the thyroid solution workshop. If you have autoimmune concerns like lupus, psoriasis, you have Hashimoto's, you have any kind of autoimmune disease, then the Autoimmune Solution Workshop is what you want to come to. That's Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Again, that's already filled up. Uh, and uh, we're not doing these workshops for another, you know, three to four weeks. So, you know, it's the last one we're going to have because summer break is coming. So you want to register for them. You want to come to it because we're not doing it for a while. Okay, so this is a la your last chance to get in on it. And the seats are already filled up. So call 480-988-6269. I also put a link to register online on this post afterwards. And if you have any questions, please post your comments or questions on this post. And I'll answer all the questions myself uh, after we're done with this. So please make sure you post. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you got a lot out of this. Uh, and uh, like I said, we, this is going to be recorded and be on our website at askdrcon.com on our blog section. And also it will be on Facebook and on Timeline. It's going to be archived so you can watch uh, this show and also all previous episodes. And we'll be back next Monday at 12.30 for another episode of the Ask Dr. Khan Show. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great week.